going to talk about the best way to prepare for the ABPM examination in pain management. While my review is dedicated for the ABA and ABPM, the next big exam is this April and it focuses on many topics relevant to your practice. The ABPM keyword list is listed on their website and the topics included are diagnostic examinations such as diagnostic nerve blocks, anatomy, physiology, pharmacology, different types of pain such as chest pain, atypical chest pain, muscular pain, neuropathic pain, post amputation pain, cancer pain, sickle cell disease, HIV and other palliative care topics, connective tissue disorders, rheumatological diseases, and more. Many of these topics will also appear in the ABA examination in pain management. Be sure you know the complications of any intervention that you may perform, as well as indications and other concerns, such as the proper medications to be used and the consequences of those drugs. My best advice in terms of preparing for the examination is to do lots of questions here. We also have lectures that will assist you in your preparation for the boards. The lectures can be located via the podcast app, which requires a subscription to the premium access lectures, or on my website. The test is broken down into various topics, which you can find on the ABPM's exam outline overview and the majority of the time is actually spent on pharmacology. However, other topics such as neuropathic, cancer, musculoskeletal, and many different pain types are also covered. Diagnostic testing including EMG, nerve conduction velocity studies, SSEPs, BAEPs, MVEPs are also covered. Make sure you have a strong overview of the indication for procedures as well as the related complications that can occur with each procedure. The best advice I can give is to read about your patients, the patients you see in the office, the patients you perform procedures on. Make sure you're aware of all the issues surrounding the patient, the medication interactions that may occur. This is a big topic. They typically will ask this. In addition, make sure you do tons of questions. The questions are key to practicing the mindset that you need to be in for the boards. My review, painexam.com, features over 550 questions and we keep adding new ones every year. The latest questions I added include topics such as marijuana, which has become a hot topic and you can be sure will be asked about in the coming exams. In addition, there are lectures available on my website and via my podcast, and I suggest you listen to them while you're in the car or at the gym. It's important to ma maximize every second you have before the boards to get the most out of your board preparation. 34 CMEs are also available on my website, and if you're interested in ultrasound guided neuroblock tutorials, they're featured at algo-sonic.com or on my YouTube channel. Once again, thank you for joining us, and good luck.